What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, you guys, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how I add videos um, to my landing page. But in this case, it's not a landing page. It's actually a thank you for purchasing page. Um, and so if you've been following me for a while, you guys, I've been, I've been building an agency, right? Going after clients, servicing clients, social media marketing, Facebook advertising. I've been doing that since 2016. But as I, as I kind of, you know, scaled up and, 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 and evolved, I'm, I'm now into, um, you know, affiliate marketing through Kartra and, and, and building a YouTube channel, as you guys can see here. Um, and most importantly, taking my knowledge and now packaging it all up into coaching programs and membership courses. So that's kind of where I'm at now is, 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 is still de delivering that value, still providing that value when it comes to social media marketing and Facebook advertising to small business owners. Um, but again, it's all about evolution. It's all about scaling. It's all about evolving and, and, and getting better, right? And so that's what I keep trying to do is up my game. And so in this case, what I'm going to show you is a simple how I add videos to a simple page inside of Kartra and, and where people and when people are going to see this, this page. Okay, so here's what I did. I just got done recording a short two-minute video um, on Zoom, and I use Zoom for everything. Zoom is what I'm using right now to, to screen share. So I, I have the free account through Zoom. Um, every single client that I bring aboard, I use Zoom so I can visually walk them through, so I can visually show them what I can do for them. Um, I don't ever do a phone call, so you'll never catch me on a phone call trying to pitch a, a, a service. Like that's the old school way, man. Like you don't want to do it that way. You want to visually show people what you can do. And 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 Zoom is a free platform that I've been using forever. So um, I recorded this video over here on Zoom. It's this one right here. This short video right here is what I'm going to put onto the page. Now there's a few different places I can put that video. I can upload that video to YouTube and then get the link and put it on the page. Okay, so this is the page right here. And in this page also, let me just kind of put some context. All that is is a thank you for purchasing. So I have this one page right here, for example. Simple sales page, simple, simple sales page. This, this isn't, isn't a page that I advertise. It's just, you know, internally when I'm consulting, you know, business owners and there's certain, you know, packages that I provide. Um, this is a simple page, a simple link. It's tied to my Stripe account. It has the Kartra checkout on it. The person, they come here, um, they can click continue and purchase. And when they purchase, then they're taken to a thank you for purchasing page. Um, and it's this page right here, okay? And the reason why they're taken here, this is so, so important because on this page, this is where I'm Facebook pixeling them. This is where I'm putting them in a Facebook custom audience. And this is where I'm, again, going to put a video here so I can really, you know, thank them and tell them what to expect next. Now they're seeing a video of me again. I'm really big on video. So again, if you've been following, following, following me on my channel, that's what I've been talking about for the past few years is what I'm doing. Documenting what I'm doing, starting with an agency, getting clients, and then, and then growing from there, and then just kind of documenting all that on my YouTube channel video, right? Video, video, video. Some of you guys may be good at writing and you're good copywriters or you're good. You're just good at, at, at writing. You feel comfortable expressing yourself in a blog. So you tend to write. Some of you guys are, are good at that. It's either going to be writing text based writing, typing, whatever the hell you want to call it. Right. Or video, man, that, that those are the two main ways you're going to communicate with people. You're either going to write a bomb ass sales letter or you're going to put out a bomb ass sales video. Right. And so in my case, I just, I guess I just, by default, I landed on YouTube a few years ago because I just found myself able to express myself via video. And so as I started putting up more video on YouTube, then I started putting more video on my pages, inside my landing pages, inside my sales funnels, inside of my emails. I started putting more video out. And, and, and that's what I truly believe allows me to get the attention that's what allows me to, to create the authenticity. And that's what allows me to, to create the authority in, in my little space here, right? And that's why I say this on my YouTube channels all the time. I'm like, dude, you guys would not be here if it wasn't for my face, if it wasn't for my video, right? And in the hell with what you look like, I don't, it doesn't matter how you look. It don't matter if you got freaking 
pimples all over the place or you got freckles from 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 top to bottom if 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 you look horrible with no makeup and, and you got jacked up hair it does not matter like it does not matter how you look it has nothing to do with that people are going to gravitate to the real you you got to keep that in mind man so you got to stop hiding behind the camera you got to even stop hiding behind your profile picture i see a lot of people that comment on my youtube videos and there's no profile picture it's like dude put a profile picture step your game up and then i got people that hit me up on instagram trying to pitch me different things and there there's no there's no there's not even a profile picture it's like dude like you got to stop that man if you're trying to build something or if you're trying to pitch anything if you're trying to provide value and you got services to bring to the marketplace there has to be a face there man stop trying to hide yourself and so with video it, it it's it's even it's even more powerful because people see the real you like they, they they see the flaws they see the freaking white hairs they see the freaking the fact that i haven't got a haircut in damn near a freaking year it's like all those little things you guys i'm telling you man is everyone going to like you no. Do you need everyone to like you? Hell no. I'm telling you, your little piece of the market can make you a lot of money. Trust me, man. So long story short, I guess what I'm really trying to say is that I, I, I started getting way comfortable with putting video everywhere and it's been a game changer. Videos on YouTube, videos on social media, videos on my pages. And so this is a order complete this is a person who either just spent a thousand, they just spent 500. Um, they're either get, getting into one of my membership courses or they're getting my, my coaching, co coaching calls, right? My coaching sessions that I have available, whatever it may be. This is a video that I'm going to place right here. Now I could upload that video to YouTube and put that link here. I can upload that video to Vimeo and I can put that link there, or I can simply upload it to Kartra. And, and, and I can, I can, I can put that, that link, that file there. Okay. So most of my videos that I have, I have a shitload of videos. Okay. In my membership course, because of the bandwidth, I put all those videos on Vimeo. Okay. That's my membership course, 55 videos. Um, so if I took up all that bandwidth inside of Kartra, I'd have to be on a higher plan. Um, I'd have to be on, on be spending more money per month because of the bandwidth of all the video, right? So I don't want to do it that way, but I, I did have to pay Vimeo, right? I had to set up a whole account with Vimeo and that's fine. I could put, I could put countless videos on Vimeo and then just put them over here on my, in my membership course without any, you know, buffering or having to pay more over here. So that's what I did with my membership course. Now, a lot of the videos that I have on pages, I simply up upload to YouTube and then I grab that link and and park it right there but sometimes when it's a short video that's going on a thank you page for example I'll simply upload it to Kartra and so here's what I'm gonna do you click on videos right there and then and then you upload it right over here and this is just an example this is one of my clients shout out KW shout out to freaking um, 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 Becky this is Becky the realtor so shout out to B. Um, I have a bunch of her sample videos that I'm that I use as as samples. But um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna simply come over here, hit the green button, and I'm gonna look for that file. I'm gonna grab that one file. I'm gonna give it a name, and this is coaching and consulting. Thank you. Thank you, Paige. Okay, and this is gonna go in this category where is the category um in fact it's going to go in this one i'm going to edit i'm going to edit that one let's um actually let's go consulting actually no let's just edit so here's what i can do i can create a category um but what i'm going to do consulting campaign i'm going to delete that one email sequence i can delete that one because i don't put them here anymore and then i'll just go i'll just edit that one master class campaign let's get rid of that one and these are just categories for your video uh, book. I have that on YouTube, but actually I'm going to keep that one. And the webinar, let's change this. Um, in fact, let me see if I can even, TSRE training course. Awesome. Okay, so it fits. Perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to just simply edit this one, Inspired Digital. Okay, cool. So let's go. We're going to put it in that category. So all, all this is just simply categorizing 
um, my, my videos. So coaching and consulting, thank you page. It's gonna go in that category right there. And then I'm gonna hit the green button and then I'm gonna upload that video. And all I'm gonna do is, is hit this blue button, find it on my desktop. I just recorded it not too long ago. That's why I'm wearing the same damn thing. But um, let's let this thing load up. And it only takes a few seconds. Look at how fast it loads. Now, depending on how long the video is, obviously, um, then, then it'll load fast. This is a two minute video and, and it loaded pretty damn fast. But again, I upload it to Kartra when there's short videos and there's not too many of them. If I have a shitload of videos, which I do in my membership course, I'll put those on Vimeo. If I have a ton of videos that I put through my email sequences or if I just put on other pages, then I'll put those on YouTube. Okay, so let's say, for example, you, you opt into FB ads for beginners, which is a little plug because there's a link in the description. If you're new to Facebook advertising, man, let me freaking coach you. Let me teach you the basics. There's so many freaking basics that people miss, man. Even the advanced Facebook advertisers, they're not even thinking of the basics. Let me coach you on that. So FB ads for beginners, for example, dot com, that link below. Let's say you go to that link, you opt in, uh, and then now you're on my email list, right? What I tend to do is I'll put you in an email sequence, and now automated emails are going to drip on you, right? What I do a lot is I'll have those emails go out, but as the email goes out, I'll have videos on them, right? So I'll send out an email, hey, John, just run a Facebook ad. Click here to watch my video that I just recorded on it, right? Like, so I'll put, so I'll have them click. They'll open up the email, they'll click, and then it takes them to a Kartra page where there's a video on it. So those types of, of, of emails that go out, those pages that I have videos on, I put my YouTube video. So that's my link to my YouTube video, right? And I'll just park it on a Kartra page. And, um, but again, in this case, I just have a handful that I put on, on Kartra because again, it's the bandwidth. I'll put short ones and I'll just put a few. So there's, there's it right there. Um, and what I'm going to also do is I'm going to, I can hit this display. Um, I don't need that settings. Let's go settings. Let's go. Um, I can upload a, a, a thumbnail. I could put a, a, a logo. I can go um, skin color. I can change the co the color of the skin, which I'll do. I'll change it to a, Let's see, let's go black. I'll just go with shit, I'll just go with this one. That's all good. Okay, so show controls. Yeah, that's fine. The volume, the pause, that's fine. And then mute on start. No autoplay on load. Yes. Uh, show social share no show playback speed that's fine and then and then call to action I can have them link to a, a, another page if I want but but I don't need to because the links in the description and then I can tag the lead I could tag a lead I could put a tag here and 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 let's say let's say the tag is for um, let's go inspired Actually, I don't have that category, but if I just went any category and I create that tag, let's say I create the tag, let's say the tag's right there. I could put at a time through the video. So, so, so let's say it's a two minute video. For those who watch one minute of it, tag them, okay? Tag them. And that tag, I could set up an automation, for example, in my email sequence. So in my email sequence, I can have it set up where there's seven emails ready to go out. But those emails only go out to people that have this tag. People that have this tag are people who watched it for one minute, right? So I can get specific with it, you guys. I can get gangster with it. This is automation at its finest. Um, I don't need to put a tag on this one. That's fine. But, but just know that tags are powerful and this entire Kartra system is powerful. So I'm going to publish the video. And then, and then once it's up, it's up. It's right there. So now all I got to do is come over to the page, go into the editing, and I'm going to add that video. Okay, so now I'll come in here. And over here to the left, this is where you got sections, all these different sections. Like I can, I can look at all these different blocks and I can just drag them over. 
So I can build out the entire page. That's how simple this stuff is, man. Call to actions. Like, look at all these. These are all blocks. They're already done for you. All I got to do is click, drag it over. Like this cartridge system, man, I'm telling you, man, it's so freaking powerful. Checkout forms. All these different forms that I can use to get people to check out. Um, and in this case, what I want, countdown clocks. Look at that. Countdown clock. That's a full block, but there's also down here in components, there's also these countdown clocks, which are just the clock. So I can take it, drag it over and drop it. So that's so freaking powerful, man. But in this case, I'm doing the video. So this video spot, uh, spot right here, this is the video spot. So all I got to do is click, drag and drop it. And that's this video spot right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over it, click the pencil, and I'm gonna look for that video. Again, it could be a Kartra video, it could be a YouTube video, it could be Wistia or Vimeo. And I just tend to use Kartra, YouTube, or Vimeo. Okay, so in this case, it's Kartra. I'm gonna select the category, right? There's the category, there's the video. It's gonna autoplay on load. You can show controls, that's fine. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply it, and that's it, okay? So I look a little freaking drunk or I look like I'm on drugs right there, but I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter. They're going to play it and be like, okay, shit, this guy's freaking legit. But at, this, at, at this point, this guy, this person just dropped 500. They just dropped a thousand. So it's like, shit, they already know I'm for real. Right. But, but you get my point. Like they're going to play it and then boom, it just goes to normal. So let's, let's test it real quick. We're going to say progress. We're going to publish live. Okay. And when I publish live, and I come over here, get the page link. This right here, if I hit the pencil and then hit the drop down, that's where I can choose my own domain. So if I integrate a .com, I go to GoDaddy, get my own .com, I can integrate it into Kartra and I can use that and boom, that would be the link. And then I just simply create the forward slash and, and customize this back end part. But in this case, it's not tied to that business. So I just use the default one. I use the default one and then I customize this back end part and that's all I need. That's all I need. I don't need it to be super fancy at all. Um, a lot of people get caught up in that domain. It's like, no dude, it's not really necessary. Unless you're really promoting that domain, you're, you're, you're branding that domain, you're advertising that domain, then yeah, go to GoDaddy, get a legit one, yourname.com and, and, and you're promoting that. But this is, I mean, shit, after someone buys and they go here, they don't care what's up there. But again, I want to, I, I at least want to customize the back end, right? So, and that's what I do. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click, open it up and let's see this page. And so boom, we land here and then there goes the video. There goes the, the, the menu bar at the bottom. So there's the video, you guys. There is the congrats, your order is complete. I'm telling them what to expect. I'm giving them action steps. Um, I'm telling them to click below to schedule our next coaching call. And that's how I add videos to my pages. So this one software, you guys, I'm telling you, I use Kartra for everything. Uh, my landing pages, my email automation, my email broadcasting, my membership course. I host my membership course down here, my online calendar. So for people to come here and then click the button and go straight to my online calendar, all that is through Kartra. So I always tell people all my digital products, first of all, for that person to even get to this page, they had to go through a purchase. They had to go through a checkout. They had to go through a shopping cart. They had to put their credit card number in. That is all through Kartra, through my products over here. So it's connected to Stripe. Stripe is the actual merchant account, but the actual shopping cart is Kartra. Okay, so not only do I, am I able to, 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 to provide a shopping cart, an online website where people can enter their credit card information, that's all my products. The my communications, that's my email autoresponder. My pages are all my sales funnels and landing pages. My membership course is my membership course. There's 55 videos in a course that I can package up and freaking sell. Um, my videos, that's what I just uploaded, is a video to Kartra. Um, and then my calendars, and then of course, my affiliate promos. Um, I use 
Kartra for everything. So therefore I get fired up and I want to share it and talk about it on YouTube specifically and getting a check every month is, is not bad just to simply talk about it. Right? So step your game up. You guys, I always tell people, man, compare it. Like if you're trying to build anything online, landing pages, email automation, just those two alone are freaking mandatory. And most people are using two different softwares to make that happen. If you're scheduling appointments online, there's a third software. A lot of you guys are using Calendly or some third random software like that. Those three tools alone, man, all inside of Kartra. And if you're doing any type of membership course or selling coaching programs, again, all that is in Kartra. If you're an affiliate marketer and you're trying to go out there and get freaking and, and get people to buy these random affiliate offers on ClickBank, these one-time commission offers on ClickBank or anything like that or, or on Amazon, it's like, dude, I don't want a one-time commission. If I'm going to tell you about a product or a service and get fired up about it, you better pay me every month on it. That's Kartra. So because Kartra is a monthly reoccurring fee, right? For the business owner, I pay for Kartra every single month. Kartra with their affiliate program, they pay us a percentage of that account every single month as well. So that reoccurring commission, man, I'm telling you, it may take a little bit to a, a little while to build, but it's a snowball and that's a reoccurring commission that comes in every single month. So it's like, those are the commissions that you're looking for. So if you're into affiliate marketing, look for the reoccurring, look, look for the ones that are going to pay you passively. You sell the customer on the service once, but because they have to pay for it every single month, the company breaks you off a piece of it. That's what you're looking for. So I use Kartra for all of that, you guys. So that right there, that's how I add my videos to my pages and um, make my message even stronger. So you guys, hopefully you got value. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, man. Smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.